today, that's Dr. Jennifer Murchia, a communication professor who specializes in political rhetoric. She's one of the most widely quoted commentators from Texas A&M and has been interviewed hundreds of times. She's also highly respected for her research and teaching. Your 2020 book on former President Trump, Demagogue for President, got a lot of attention. What was the research and the writing process like for that book? So I had initially started writing um, just an essay on demagogues, not anything to do with Donald Trump, 10 years ago. And I couldn't finish it because I didn't have an example of someone being called a demagogue. Okay. And that was what I was really interested in. And then Donald Trump started his campaign, and within a month, Lindsey Graham accused him of being a demagogue on national television. Then I thought, yay, I can finally finish this <laughs> essay that <laughs> I've been trying to finish forever. Um, and so I paid a lot of attention to his campaign really from the beginning. And, and define demagogue for our audience, please. Yeah, so the technical definition is a leader of the people. Okay just a neutral term, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but the way that it is used typically is that it's very negative, um, a misleader of the people. So his supporters absolutely saw him and still see him as this heroic figure who is defending their interests against the rest of the state that they see as corrupt. And of course, the people who don't support him see him as the dangerous demagogue. And then in 2021, you published an article called We Are All Propagandists Now. What does that title mean, and how is it significant to the state of our political union? Yeah, I'm really fascinated with the way that um, we have all learned to use social media and the platform that we all have on social media. Um, in similar ways to how propaganda works. So I'm really fascinated with the horizontal spread of propaganda through social media. Um, it used to be that propaganda was primarily vertical, that it came from you know, some elite, a government or a political party or political figure and, and spread down. Um, but today, propaganda can come from anywhere. And it does. What are your ideas on how to foster better political discourse? because we know we need it to get better. We do. Um, we, we absolutely need to recognize that we have more in common than we think. Mm. Um, even the most polarizing topics, um, if you look at research about how we think about issues, um, we have a very distorted view of what our political opposition thinks compared to what they actually think. And so really the best thing that we can all do is we can learn to listen to each other. We can rebuild trust um, by talking to people who we think might have different political views um, and recognize that the most important thing is the relationship that we have. Well, politics is not war. You cheapen war when you right. <laughs> make it seem like it's war. War is war. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. You can watch an extended version of this interview on our website.